Hello everyone, Naroon Watercrest here from Drake Wing Gaming. Thank you for joining me for my second Let's Play video of The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Now, for those of you who saw my last video, I, uh, I had quite a few blunders. Uh, but I, I am unbelievably, I made it to the, to the fucking womb. And I just thought that was awesome. Then I got my ass kicked. So, hopefully today will be a little more fruitful. Hopefully we'll get to kill Mom's heart. You know, spoilers. But, awkward dialogue aside, let's jump into a new run. And today, I think I will be playing as Magdalene. Which is just, all these characters are just, just Isaac cosplaying and such. Just being completely different characters, you know, it's just Isaac wearing a wig. <laughs> so I got a locked door over here, so great. No keys. Off to oh my god, first, first room. First room and red fire. Let's get all that. Watch out. Alright, next room, uh, another locked door, great. Fantastic. Alright. Dead enemies, my favorite. Yes. Bleed for me. They've got the shakes. Maybe they're diabetic. Let's give them a cookie, shall we? Alright. Oh, yeah, great. Oh, a lot of fucking good that does me. No money. Alright, well, let's just move on. Uh... Magdalene has a heart, has a yum heart, which, uh, after you beat, like, a certain amount of rooms, it re... Yeah, you can, you can essentially recover, actually, you can, you can completely recover, uh, one whole heart slot, which is very useful, and it only has, it only takes four rooms to fill that item, so it's particularly, particularly useful. Ah! Yes, got a key, but I need two keys to access that other room at the start. Oh, wow. A lot of flies, a lot of flies. Oh, boy. Swarm. Some fatties and a swarm. All right, come on. Yeah, Magdalene doesn't do a particularly large amount of damage, and there's the boss room. That's opened up. Uh, let me check my map. Okay, uh, I think there's a room that I haven't been to. Let's see. Let's see. Kind of wish my character was faster. Oh God, how could I have missed this? I'm so stupid. Jesus, how could I have missed that? Those are like the best rooms. Yes. All right, some rebounding tears. Awesome. All right. Wow, that is creepy looking. It's like some kind of soulless monster. <laughs> yeah, the items could do some very str have some very strange visual effects on your character. And the Duke of Flies. Uh, okay, easy room layout. Good, good, good. Oh, it also bounces off enemies. Cool. All right. This is a big fly. All right. Wow, he's a uh, pretty easy actually. <laughs> Yeah, he just spawns flies and he puffs them outward. And we are done with that room. And... Alright. Pop that shit. Speedball. Speed plus shot speed up. Excellent. Hey, I asked for a faster character. Alright. Down to the next floor. Yes, Isaac. Or Magdalene. Your mother hates you. I'm still trying to figure out if all this is, like, real, or if this is just in Isaac's head as he's cowering in the basement. Eh, I guess we'll never know. Wow, card room. Uh, destruction brings creation. Two of diamonds, item multiplier. It's best used when I have a good amount of items. May you never miss your goal. Oh god, I forgot the ma- ah, shit. I'm sorry guys, the magician actually gives you temp- gives you, like, homing shots for one room and I just squandered it, uh. That's- that will take you to the store. A 
whole battery. I haven't seen that before. Usually they just give you the little charge packs. Uh, one coin, so, oh yeah. Alright, these, these guys are just... They're just annoying the... Ah, crap. Get a little careless there. Come on. Alright. Alright, getting some money. I need a lot more money, though. Oh, God. Rocky room layout. Lots of obstacles to overcome. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. A dime. Ten cents. Excellent. Red fire. Oh. You gotta be careful of these things. They will fuck with you. Sometimes they drop soul hearts, though. It'll be worth it to... Uh, around. Sometimes they also drop money. Okay, let me go ahead and use that so I don't waste it after I clear another room. Ah, I could have just got one of those hearts back there. Ah, it's fine. Alright. Got a bomb. Yes, first bomb. Kind of weird to start out with no bombs. There's the boss room. Alright, I have 15 cents now. Uh, after I clear a few more floors, I'm going to go back to that shop. God, this rebounding shots are just awesome. They just, uh, the, they just bounce damage between enemies. It's so cool. Uh, okay, sure, why not? Ah, fuck, I need a key. And Wrath again. Hello, Bomberman. Or, oh, Wrath. Ah, come on. Maybe these don't push back his shot. I don't know. No, I don't think it does. Huh. Maybe I need bigger tiers to do that. Oh well. I'm doing a lot of damage towards him. Got my key! Yes! That's some great luck. Uh... Ah, yes! Awesome! Instantaneous damage, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I want. Multiplier. Ha, ah, yes. I am not quite sure what the tower does. I rarely get that card. Uh, I guess we'll see. Um, I'll drop some coin. Oh, come on! The first fucking coin I donate jams the machine. Ugh. Uh, what do you do? Excellent. All right. Ready for the boss room. And Monstro, one of the easiest bosses in the game. He just... God, I love that. D oh, I guess it took away my rebounding shot. Fires fairly quickly, though, and it... And it's instant damage, too. Come on. Oh, car. Ah. No, that's not good. Oh, God. And that did precisely nothing to him. Because bombs have very shitty range unless you get, like, certain upgrades. Ah. My boss fights are going quite a bit faster than they were in the, my first run. I was thankful because that run I did with Wrath and Pestilence took a while. That cursed eye was what was making me teleport, for those of you who have never found it. If you hold down the char if you hold uh, down the charge button and you're hit while charging, there's a chance to teleport you into a random room. Alright. All stats up, yes! All right. Oh god, I've gotten bigger and so much creepier looking. Let's check my stats. Still kind of shitty stats, but you know what? Okay. Next room. Onwards in our grand adventure. Strange adventure. Very strange. Very weird. An exercise in the macabre. Alright. You yeah, very slow, ugly pushovers. 
kind of hard to judge where it's going to hit them because it's so thin. Uh, some fucking reward. Thanks, room. Ah. All right, good. Some money. Uh, I need a key, though, to open that. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? All right. That worked out pretty damn well, actually. Uh... Let's go ahead and take those fires out. Some more mushrooms. Damage reduction. I love infamy. This is actually one of the items you start off with if you do one of the the challenge route, the challenge runs called the tank. Yeah, you're just completely overpowered. And this is one of the items you start off with. Ooh, a champion. And some dual flies. I just need a damage up power up, and I'll be I'll be good to go. All right, got it. Full health, baby. Full health. And ske skeletons, dead skeleton, okay. Don't think the skeleton was technically alive. Again. Oh, wow. I'm glad that didn't hit me. Got full heart. You got plenty of hearts to go back to backtrack to. If for some reason, I come across a challenging room. And a butthole. The butthole has been fucked. Let's go ahead. Got that chest. Ooh, a pill. And I wonder what it does. Probably something bad. Ah, fucking great. Ah, uh, the amnesia pills make you forget where you have been on the map. So, it's just for one, one floor, though, I believe. So, not... It, it's... It's not terribly disconcerting, but I would like to know where I've been. Oh, I uh, still need a key for that room. Let's see. Oh yes, because I always love these these guys. These guys are just so much fun. Come on, open up. Say ah. Okay, chest two, awesome. Another pill. Wonder what this one does. Actually, a good effect. Yeah, pills are kind of like playing Russian roulette. You never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes, well, actually, if you've gotten all the pills, you know exactly what you're going to get. But I found that more often than not, they have more harmful effects than positive ones. I know. Okay, envy. All right. Easy. That's just the creepy, just a crew one of the creepiest looking faces. And slightly mad looking. Yeah, this isn't too hard. Envy's pretty easy. But there are, uh, from what I, I think, ultra varieties of the hor of the seven deadly sins and the horsemen, I think. They get like new abilities and of course more health. Let's do it. All right, come on. Die, little bass. All right. The shoop de whoop nope, not worth it. Quick recharging, but I don't need it. All right, let's go. We are done with this and still no key. Yeah, I don't really care. Let's go ahead and go to the boss room. Or, er, okay. All right, let's go. Chub. Easy, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Ah, maybe not. As rocks are going to be a problem. All right, come on. He's got such a nice face, and then he just charges at you, and he's just so horrible and monstrous looking. I can hit you across the fucking level, so... I can hit you across the room, so I can maintain a healthy distance, giving me plenty of time to maneuver if he decides to charge. Almost got him. Almost got him. Yeah, this doesn't do a lot of damage. Fortunately, it fires pretty damn quickly, so... Alright. 
All right. Let's see what is. Sure, why not? That is Guppy's collar. I believe that. Ugh. I go with. Never seen this one. I have seen this one before, but I've never gotten it. Um, I generally do not like to look up the descriptions of items because I, I like to play this game blind, you know? That kind of increases the replay value, so let's... Huh. Okay. Oh yeah, Guppy's Collar. I remember that. Uh, okay. Plenty of hearts. Still doing well on the hearts. Guppy's Collar gives you... Like, I think it gives you, like, one more life, or has, like, a random chance of giving you another life after you die again. So, we'll see. Hopefully I won't get that. Hopefully I won't get to that point where I need to lose multiple lives. This, this, uh, if I get to the womb, this will, uh, definitely be a very good uh, offensive power-up to have. Because I can just hit those little hide and seek bastards and those leeches from across the room. Open up. Open up. Say ah. Uh. Okay, nothing. I still don't know how to open these rooms. I'm gonna have to look that up. Ah, uh, just a room full of fatties. And. Ha! Nice timing there. Another heart. Boss room. Not going to the boss room just yet. Alright, plenty of hearts to backtrack on. Almost ran into those spikes there. Gotta be careful. Alright, let's go. Oh, man, are you kidding me? There's, like, no room to maneuver. Fortunately, he just goes up and down. So, more hearts. Excellent. Oh, just a f fucking chest full of spiders. That's That's nice. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right, let's keep going. Go down. Yeah, room full of skeletons. Come on. All right, good. Oh god, the fast ones. These guys are fast, and I am faster. Much faster, actually. All right. Last one. Alright, poop. Give me what I desire. Give me some of that money, poop. Who's been shoving pennies into shit around here? Seriously. Alright. Bam! Alright. Tastes like burning. Uh, maybe running into fire doesn't hurt me. I don't know. I'll just I'll try that next time I'm around a fire and just just see what happens. Absolutely no point in going for that because that golden chest requires a key and it requires a key to get there. So. God, I hate these things. All right, there we go. That, that was two, that was a, a heart and a half, or, yeah, that was a heart and a half. Cool, okay, there we go. Unlock that, break open, and a bunch of bombs. That, that actually does help me. Okay, good. And some shit. Some living shit. Pop, there you go. And I don't need to pop that poop, I can just keep him over there. Yes. All right, got another chest. Ah, fuck. All right, there we go. Two bombs. That's good. Ooh, uh, oh man, a black heart. And I cannot get to it. But got an item room. What is that? Ooh, that's new. Not sure what pyromaniac does. Uh, I think it makes you immune to your own bombs. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll have to check. There's a heart in the next room, so I'm going to plant my bomb and see what happens. Yep, it makes you immune to your own bombs. So I took a little bit of a risk there, but there was a heart waiting for me in case I fucked up. 
I had a lot of hearts waiting for me, though. All right, people, on to the boss room. Let's see who we have. Gertie. Gertie is a giant stationary boss. He doesn't do a lot besides spawn enemies and occasionally shooting rows of blood like that. But you can mitigate by just moving in the next direction. Yeah, he's pretty easy. Especially since my uh, shot goes through enemies. I can just take out multiple. He's got a lot of health though. It's a little bit of an it's a little bit annoying. Die, you big ugly bastard. You pile of organs. With a person inside of them. Almost got him, almost got him. Come on. Ugh. And he's dead. Damage and range up. Alright. Nice Michael Jackson reference. Uh, I'll go for the headless baby. I have three hearts left, so I gotta be careful. Don't seem to have problem finding other hearts, though, so I should be good. Alright, on to the next floor, my friends. Uh, alrighty. Isaac, you're weird. The depths. The Lovecraftian depths of hell. Alright. Wow, these guys are... You now they're stationary, they don't really have anywhere to go, so... Oh, great, can't get out of that dime. It'd be great to have some levitation right now, wouldn't it, people? Fuck, oh, it's those fuckers that jump. Come on. Yeah, this requires precision aiming. Oh, a big fat, fat shit. He spawns big ones. Not that it helped him. I forget what the headless baby does. Um, I don't know, I think maybe the blood is damaging. I haven't gotten that one in a while. This game has just so many fucking items. Oh, uh, yeah. These can only be put out with bombs. And they have a much higher chance of dropping uh, spirit hearts. Doesn't mean they will, though. As always, it's up to the random number generator. All right. Well, I got full hearts and no keys, and I would really like to get into that item room, but I just guess I'll have to bite my lip and weather it. And a bunch of these dudes, but I'm so much faster. Yep, that's what the little headless baby does. Yep, trail of blood hurts them. Okay, let's crack that. Don't want to get too close to that because that. Actually, I might not be. I don't think I'm. Yeah, I don't think I'm able to be hurt by fire. All right. So let's move on. Yeah, I fucking hate these guys. I do. I hate them. They can be such... And when you have a room full of them, they can be a problem. Especially if you have obstacles. I got lucky. This room has, like, no obstacles. What is that? The Ace of Spades, luck to the draw. Okay, good. I believe that increases my luck. Alright. Go ahead and die. Go ahead and die. Pop you at maggots. Okay. Oh, these things. They just they just roll around in patterns. They're they're easy. And got a chest. Key? No. Pill. Why the fuck would I want to actively to to why would I want to give myself amnesia? Seriously. Though the good things about pills are that once you have tried them on a playthrough. 
you will know what they do for the rest of the playthrough. So it will not be so much of a mystery as to whether you're harming yourself or evening the odds. Oh yeah, the big fat ones. So much fun. Pop. Pop, fatty. Not gonna run into that blood there. Okay. Man, I just do so much damage now. Let's see. Yeah. I do a good amount of damage. More bombs. Boss room. Nothing there. Uh, okay, got a couple of rooms. Uh, a room or two I didn't go to. Well, I think I can only get to one of the other rooms because of some, uh, like two of the other rooms I left behind need keys to access. So. Yeah, these little fetuses just fly at you, making funny faces. Yep. Man, this is just getting so easy now. I'm, I'm, uh, it's, it's not as challenging as my first run, but... Yeah, this game always has a surprise for you, no matter how many runs you do. God, I really can't wait for the expansion. Let's pop all that shit. Aw, oh, baby, not gonna give me any money. Aw, oh, man! Excellent! I can do double the amount of damage now by leaving two trails. And for it's, it's unfortunate that Magdalene is now eternally sad and crying, but, you know, I gotta win. Sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. Alright, let's go. Alright. Boss room. Who is it? Loki! Pretty easy as well. Um, yeah, Loki's a master of deception. He'll just warp in random areas. It's... Sometimes you get, like, you get stuck with a room variant that has multiples of these fucking ro uh, moving spiked blocks. And I just, I just hate those things so much. They limit your mobility. And Loki is gone. Shot speed down. Whoa! Starting to get... Almost like a SMG, SMG type of uh, fire rate right here. Man, that's cool. All right, people, on to the next floor. Doing really well. Maybe I stand a chance against Mother Dearest. Or maybe I'm just going to get my ass kicked. Who knows? All right, Depths 2. I really like the soundtrack to this game. I just like I, like I said in my first playthrough, it's very, very ambient. I love it. And since I have technology shot, I can injure these fuckers without actually having to get behind them. Whoa. Uh, I believe they can shoot tears at you, the ones with the Isaac faces. I think they can shoot tears at you if you're standing behind them. Got a bomb. Okay, good. Alright, let's go. Next room. I sense a bunch of dead enemies in my future. Ha <laughs> ha so pretentious. Okay, and the arcade. Um, I think you just need... Yep! No keys to get into the arcade. Alright, since I have plenty of coins, I can try my luck. Uh, let's do this guy. You have to uh, give him a coin and guess which skull he puts it in. And they will not make it easy for you. Uh... Well, fuck you, I gotta fly. I gotta... I got my coin back! Oh, I got another coin. Awesome. Come on. Give me some more. Got a bomb. Alright. And you can bomb these, and you can bomb these, and they'll give you money and items. So, sometimes they get stuck. Got a heart? Okay. Go over here. This is a blood machine. It gives you money for hearts. 
And there's actually an item you get if you donate uh, like a certain amount of hearts to it through multiple playthroughs. It's like an IV bag. You can, uh, it's, it's essentially a blood machine. It's a mobile blood machine and you can take hearts on the fly and get just money to spawn wherever. So, that's useful. Okay, cool. IV bag. Hey. What do you know? Uh, let me see, that's full. So I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of that. Use that one more time. All right. Let's keep playing that. Maybe get something better. Or it'll just keep eating up my... Amnesia again, wow. How, how lucky am I, guys? Maybe it's trying to tell me to pl Holy shit, is that a dollar? That, my friends, is a dollar bill worth 99 cents. Or 100, depending on how you look at it. But... Nah, I'd say I played my cards right. Excellent. Alright. I'm doing really well. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this playthrough so far. All right, got a car. Can't get there. Uh, actually, yes, I can. Plenty of bombs. What? What is it? All right. Item room. Yes. Yeah, you notice that each time these these dead, dried up husks are always like a little bit different. It's it's a neat touch. I this this is a pill generator, mobile pill generator. Uh, I am very. This is like this goes really well with PhD. Like, if you have PhD in a mobile pill generator, you are well off, my friends. You are going to kick ass. And since money is not an object, I'm gonna go ahead and recharge that. And I'm going to get that. And I am going to completely ignore that because PhD is what really makes that item shine. All right. Rapid fire, motherfuckers. Yes! I am on a roll. I'm confident. I feel good. Ah, ah, ah. Haven't taken damage in a while. That's good. Why do I keep getting amnesia? I wonder if that has anything to do with the Ace of Spades. It, maybe it gives you like a fixed, fixed pills from now on? I don't know. And a replica room of the one that was in the last floor. Die, little bastards. Gunning you down. Al Capone style. Alright. Okay, yeah, fire does hurt me still, even with the pyromaniac. Sometimes they, yeah, like I said, sometimes they will just not drop a damn thing. Alright. And left a trail of blood, so I'm gonna ignore that. Um, oh, mini boss room. Let's go ahead and kill him. Be good for some extra item or two, hopefully. Maybe not. Yep, fucking amnesia. Who who would have guessed? I'm glad I didn't go that pill generator. Boss room and a car, but I cannot levitate. All right, let's see how many. Okay, I have a couple rooms. I'm gonna go back here. Just gonna. Leaving a trail of blood and tears in my wake. Like the saddest hypophiliac in the entire world. Let's go. And... Yep! Still plenty of bombs left, so... Alright. Ah, oh, a couple more rooms left, nice! Open that. 
Okay. Uh, ah, I fucking need a key. Ah, free item room. I need a key. Gotta have my key. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and burst that open. Uh, uh these skulls contain have a high chance of like containing cards. The hero fan. Yep. Two soul hearts. Excellent. Let's go ahead and pop these. And sometimes they contain those things. Ha! <laughs> Challenge me. Uh, no, this, this card takes you right to mom. So I'm not going to do that. Actually, I think the next... You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Alright. Yep, I decided I think I was kinda what the next boss who the next boss was anyway, so just saving myself some time. Yep, pretty easy so far. Yeah, mom is to me mom but with like once you, like, beat her the first couple of times, and you start unlocking, like, a lot of more, like, overpowered items, she becomes m much less challenging and just more like an obstacle. Yeah, I've already got her down to, like, half health. She's going down quick. Ah, had a good reflexes there. You can't get me, Mom! Mother dearest! Fuck you, Mom! Come on! I am ready to take you on! Hopefully I'm ready for the womb. I think I am. I'm doing better than my last playthrough. Alright, Mom. Just just die. A lot of hearts here. And evil up. Alright. Da! Let's go ahead. I have plenty of hearts, so... And, uh, no... Okay, so... Just a bunch of chests. Alright. Wow! <laughs> yeah, it figures the last one's gonna be a bad one. Wow, alright guys, I am... God, I'm ready to kick some fucking ass in the next one. Let's go! Let's do this! The womb. May the gods have mercy on poor little Magdalene's soul. Alright. that damage reduction enemies are no are not doing uh, full hearts worth of damage instead they're just doing half a heart so infamy really comes in handy in the womb that's you're definitely going to want to pray to whatever gods or powers you believe in that the random number generator spawns it all right all right Let's get those hearts taken care of Bam! And you are dead. Alright. Up to the next one. And some shit. Alright. Why not? Why not spawn some shit in the uterus? <laughs> Ugh. Creepy. Ah. Uh, crap. Yeah, it's uh, skinless Isaac. Those guys can be pretty annoying. They have... Fairly competent AI, so they can definitely doggedly pursue you. But I've only taken like one one heart of damage. Ah, fuck. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Some bombs there. All right. 
Let's go ahead and take that bastard out. Got a key, good. And this is a battle room, so let's... <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, my uh, trail of tears and blood isn't going to do anything to the fistula because it's floating. So... Alright, another boss, Loki, of course, why not? Let's go ahead and get your health down. Man, I just do so much damage, God. This rate of fire is just amazing. One more. Chubb! You are a favorite of that random number generator. It loves to spawn you incessantly. You big white fuck up. Great. Luck of... Eh, let's just fucking take the butt penny. I don't think the ace is doing much for me. Yeah, you can only get him when he uh, sticks his little head out. Got a bomb. Alright. Good. Oh, another fist healer. Great. Let's go ahead and get that taken care of. Yeah. Fuck me, come on. Just die already. Card. Item multiplier. <laughs> two key. All of two keys, alright. <laughs> yeah, at least I got two. Alright, let's take these fuckers out. I'm doing really well, guys. Like, I'm really happy with this playthrough. It's not often I get a playthrough that goes as smoothly as this. Yep. And those black hearts, once they're completely depleted, they will damage everything in the room. All right. Ah, fuckers. You little bastards messed up my last playthrough. I hate you. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Crap, I forget. The hanged man gives you levitation for exactly one room. Key there. No strings attached to that key, so... Let's keep going. Yeah, yeah. Wine, wine, wine. Run at me. Still can't catch me. Ow. Eh, yeah, I opened my fucking mouth too soon. Let's go ahead and take that bastard out. Let's take you out. Yeah, I love the range. I can, I, just, just, I can just stay safely on the other side and just snipe them. Plant a bomb there. Let's go ahead and open that up. Alright. I can gamble away. Uh, yeah, I can gamble away. All right, guys, I might be here a little while. I'm gonna see if I can. Oh, nice! Even though I'm almost done with this floor. Excellent. Oh God, I got lucky with that one. Nice. Oh man, I'm just getting so many good items. Not gonna say no more bombs, baby. Gotta blow shit up. Alright. Give me. Yeah, the butt penny makes you fart when you get money. It's weird. This game has a very juvenile sense of humor. <laughs> Why am I laughing at that? It's stupid. <laughs> but at the same time, it's also somewhat entertaining. Farts are not going anywhere. They've been a part of our society's humor for ages, and uh, they're just not going anywhere. 
Oh, it took a little damage. Everybody got another dollar, so... Oh, God. A bunch of these fuckers. Hey, I'm taking them out. To a nice dinner. And a troll bomb. And the boss room. Let's do it. And Loki split into two. Okay. This one can be a little tricky. I'm going to focus on one. Yeah, they... Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same fight, just with two Lokis. So, and I'm doing a good amount of damage. Whittling them down. I'm going to kill one, though. God, fucking die. All right, Loki's horns. I do not know what those do. I've never found them. And... Stuff. Rusted key. Uh... Sure. Let's use that. Okay, I'm definitely going with the, uh... Come on. Alright. Alright, here it is, people. I might actually do this. I might actually beat the game again. I have a full heart now. All right. Let's go to the arcade. I'm not left wanting for money. That's for damn sure. Uh, I'm on to your... I'm, okay, let's play his game. Oh, yay, a bomb. Oh, let's get the damn fly. Ha! <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. bunch of keys now, so should be good. God, I just have so much fucking money. So much. Alright. Alright, you just spawn. Alright, put your head out. And another key. Yes! Man, I just have such good luck in this run. I'm not being completely ass-fucked by the difficulty curve. All right. Oh, fuck me. Took a little bit of damage. Okay, and nothing spawned. Great. Come on, take these fuckers out. That's what that does. A chariot turns you into a flashing unicorn. And... That, okay, that was taken care of fairly quickly. <laughs> Alright, let's... Hope that... Yeah, I fucking hate these leeches. They just charge at you. But I seem to be doing pretty good. Alright, good. That took care of that room without any hassle. Let's keep going. Walking boils... Take them out. Okay. And... Right, because I need more money. Uh... Mr. Mega. I think he's a boss or a bomb... Uh, like a bomb boss? I don't know. Do not stay still for too long because those things will fuck you. Alright. Now, whenever you see, uh, like an eye open in one of these areas, start moving your ass immediately because they they generally either shoot like laser beams or technology shots like I have and those hit you instantly so alright ah alright took a little bit of damage there but I'm okay okay plenty of hearts though and I still have a heart generator so I'm good Good to go for a while. Good. Let's go ahead and kill you. Ah! Yep, those guys uh, leave batteries sometimes. Come 
come on, die. All right, good. All right. Can't wait to get them. Whoa. Okay, almost got hurt there. I'm very lucky. Let's go ahead and take out that last spider. Okay, no items again. Um, I'm gonna go back down here because I have a feeling that other area leads to the boss room. I like to explore every end. Ah, two mini guardies. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting hurt here. Yeah, I'm getting hurt. Fucking hell, these guys do a lot of damage. Even... Yes. Oh, okay, that... Wow, uh, I have exactly one heart now. And luckily for me, there are rooms with hearts, so... Or fucking half a heart, you know. Could just be half a heart. Ugh. I am so fucked. I had such a good run, too. Ah. God, all it takes, guys, all it takes is one bad room. Okay, gave myself a little bit of help there. All it takes is one bad room, and you are fucked. Or your luck ends up turning around, oddly enough. We'll see. Mom's heart. This can be a pretty difficult fight. All right. God, it's hard to even get close to her. All right. Uh. Just not hard if you just keep your eyes open. Just be very careful about where you stand. A bunch of enemies are spawning, not good. Okay, not bad. Not, not doing too bad, okay. Not doing a lot of damage to her either, and that's kind of problematic. God, I hate you little fuckers. Okay. Bah! Fuck hell. Yeah, this, this fight is a little challenging. I, I will... I will admit that. Oh, all right. Uh, I might die, I hope not. Really hope not. Ah! Oh, just die, you little fuckers! Ugh. Fuck, 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 oh my god! Oh my god, this is crazy! died. But I have... Oh, so... Uh... Yeah, uh, there's no fucking way in hell am I going to be able to do this on half a heart. Like, seriously, guys, half a heart do this? Yeah. Uh, I'll try. Yeah. Well, God, that was one 
hell of a crazy playthrough. Wow. God, that last fight had me on the edge of my damn seat. Uh, I probably could have beaten it if I had found some more damage power-ups. Because as it stands, that tech shot just does not cut it when it comes to dealing raw damage. But God, I almost had her too. Ugh! Ugh! Frustrations when you play The Binding of Isaac, ladies and gentlemen. This game will rail you into the fucking concrete. Or it could be incredibly loving and sweet and give you all kinds of delicious goodies and then poison you with them and bury you in the backyard. Because that's the binding of Isaac, my friends. And I just love playing it. It's so much fun. I love punishing myself. Ugh, oh, but geez, oh, so lightheaded now. But anyway, I, I want to thank everyone for watching my second Let's Play video of The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. And oh, this is Narun Watercrest from Drakewing Gaming. And to my fellow gamers out there, have fun and game on.